because it reminds me of, um, of how, how we are as, uh, as people, every one of us is different. But the other thing about um, a deck of cards is that they've got printing on the back and printing on the front. And it reminds me in some way of, of the things that we, that we all do wrong in our lives, the wrong thoughts, the wrong words and wrong deeds that almost become in, imprinted within and us. And every now and then we get a little pang of the conscience and we said, I'm going to turn over a new leaf, I'm going to have a brand new start. And so we get rid of the, uh, the things that we think we're doing wrong and we make a, a vow and we say, oh well I'll go to church or start saying my prayers, um, I'll read the Bible and we, we think our lives are going to be all sorted out. But in the Bible it says that God doesn't look at the outward appearance, he looks at what's on the inside. And when he looks on the inside, he still sees all the stains that we've gone and done. And because of those stains, he can't let us in to his heaven. So we're in a fix. But you know that 40 years ago, I was aware that I would clean up the outside of my life, but on the inside there was still a problem. Then somebody told me about Jesus. And as I looked at what Jesus had done, I realised the stains, the mess, that was evident in my life. And it was on a Wednesday, just before Easter, back in 1972, I asked Jesus to come in and to change my life. And the amazing thing was, was that he wiped away all the stains that I committed. Gave me a brand new start and a brand new life. Now what I've done is just a trick. But what Jesus has done in my life, that's the miracle. Thank you.